played Mario Party 10, but Luigi does absolutely nothing on a team of master CPUs, the hardest difficulty, and Bowser is going to try to stop Team Luigi and Mario in Chaos Castle. Let's find out if Team Mario and Luigi will escape, or if Bowser will win. Alright, so here we are, we are at Chaos Castle over here. This is a very exciting board, there is so much cool stuff here. So I really wonder if we can win, if Luigi is doing absolutely nothing, will the team carry Luigi over here? So Luigi, he's always going to have to do the default option while on the board, and he does absolutely nothing in minigames. So here's Bowser. Bowser's going to try to catch us and take away all of our hearts. First things first, save my friends in the fortress, and you can increase your hearts. So what we are going to do, we are just always going to roll normally on the board, and we're going to choose a default option, whatever it is. Okay, so you get a four. That's a pretty big roll. We're making some distance over here. Wait, oh, okay, good. So we don't choose to go left or right. It looks like Mario's choosing what way to go, because he's rolling next. Man, we've got a pretty nice team over here. Mario, Luigi, Peach, and Toadette. So we've got two boys and two girls here. Beware of unlucky spaces! Lose half your hearts if you're hit by a Travarg! I wonder if Charvarg is at all related to Charizard, or if it gets its name from the same place. Okay, Mario's gotta time this jump over here, and he doesn't get hit. Okay, Mario very easily makes it across there without losing any hearts. Oh my goodness! Wait, 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 is that three forward or three back? Okay, the icon made it look like we were moving three back, but we move forward another three. I don't think Bowser is going to be reaching us this turn. Peach, are you gonna get a nice big roll? Usually Peach is in last place, so let's see what she's gonna do here. He rolls just a two, not a very big roll, but we land on a blue space, so that means that she gets a special dice block now. Princess Peach, wait, a one, two, three slow dice block. Okay, so she can basically roll whatever number she wants between one and three if she uses that dice block. And you know what? This is a really cool mechanic in Mario Party. I think this has only been used in Mario Party 9 and 10, where it's like all the characters are together in a car like this or in some kind of vehicle. And I know that some people really like this mechanic and some people really don't like it. I'd be curious to see what you guys think. Let me know in a comment what you think of the vehicle mechanic in this Mario Party game. Okay, and Bowser rolls, he gets 18. He just reaches us. We're 17 away and he rolls an 18, so that means that Bowser can catch up to us now. So we are gonna have a Bowser minigame as Bowser's running towards us over here. This is so scary. Especially for Luigi. Oh, that's cool, there's a green background over there. Okay, what's the minigame? Bowser's bad breath. All right, so here we go. Here are our four characters. Bowser is going to start blowing fire against us. So what you normally want to do in this minigame is you want to move around. Wait, is he gonna blow fire on me? Ah, oh, he got me! Oh no, but we're not moving. Okay, let's see, is he gonna get me again? Don't! Oh my goodness, he got me again! Oh boy, he's not blowing a lot of fire. Oh, oh, Toadette almost looked like she pushed me out of the way there, but I got hit again. Oh no, is he gonna get me again? That one didn't get me. Wait, and... Oh, he got me one more time before the timer ran out. Okay, so I'm the only one that took damage here, because we are doing absolutely nothing. That's so funny how Toadette pushed us into the corner. It's like she was trying to help us. She's like, hey, Luigi, you gotta move! I gotta get you out of the way, because Bowser's fire's gonna hit you! Oh, and now Bowser is angry! All right, so it's our turn again. Okay, so we could use the slow dice block because it looks like those are shared among teammates, but I just have to roll normally because Luigi's doing absolutely nothing. We get a two. Where does that take us? That takes us to here. Okay, and I don't want to choose what special dice block I have, so I'm gonna cover my eyes, I'm gonna look away right now and press A and we get a one, two, three dice block. Okay, and that probably is one of the worst things, unless you really want a slow number, unless you really want a low number in some circumstances. All right, Mario, what about you? You know what, our, it looks like our team is doing pretty good because Bowser didn't damage our team at all. That's pretty great. Let's see, Mario gets a three over here. Oh, will he get hit or can he time it? Let's see. Man, Mario's just really waiting for the right moment. And he just barely misses it, oh my goodness. Because if you get hit by that, I think you lose half of your mini stars. Or not mini stars, half of your hearts. I've been playing a lot of uh, Mario Party 9 recently. Mario Party 9 similar to this, except instead of hearts, you have these things called mini stars. All right, Princess Peach, let's go. Oh, she uses the one, two, three block. And she gets just a one, just going to the normal green space that does nothing. We are not very far away from Bowser at all. We are six spaces away from him. I think Bowser might be reaching us. Okay, and we get a two, wait, is that hearts? No, he's plus two hearts, hooray! That means that my hearts are going to go up to four now. And everyone else is going to have eight hearts. So the winner at the end of the game is based on who has the most hearts, but hopefully we could at least beat team bowser if our team can carry us there i don't know if luigi's going to get first place overall wait oh my goodness we are eight away and he rolled an eight because he got so many low numbers there it seems like 
Bowser almost always reaches you. Like, it's so rare that Bowser doesn't roll a number that's big enough to reach you. And our next mini game is Bowser's Roulette Rage. This is gonna be crazy. So in this minigame, Bowser can really, really easily eliminate us if he wants to. Every bomb that drops down on us, it does three hearts of damage. Let's see, maybe, wait, can the others push me out of the way? Can they? Oh, they can push me a bit, that's great. Okay, hopefully they don't come here. No, don't all group together, bros. Where's Bowser going? I'm in here, uh-oh, I'm taking damage, so is Mario. Oh no, that isn't good. I only have one heart left. If Bowser gets me again, then we are out. This is gonna be so tough. Oh, and he's putting double over there. Okay, so maybe it won't stop on us. Let's see. If one of those Bowser icons stops on me, we're done, man. Bowser really wants to eliminate us, but we still can come back. It is possible that we can come back. Our team might rescue us. Hopefully they can do all right in this mini game. Okay, Bowser's putting down lots of the Bowser icons over here. It's kind of funny that he put down two Bowser icons on the same spot last time. Oh, and everyone is safe. Okay, good. So the only person other than Luigi that took damage in this mini game was Mario. Mario lost three hearts and Luigi lost four. But Luigi could have lost up to nine hearts in this mini game. It's just that I didn't have more hearts to lose because we had three Bowser icons damage us. Go Luigi. Oh wait, I guess I get to roll for the guys, right? Okay, give your team a special dice look. Okay, I won't look and I'll press A now. And we give our team a one, two, three slow dice block. Maybe that'll come in handy for them. Yeah, so if a character is eliminated, you still do get to help out your team. So Bowser has to take out the entire team to win. So let's see, what's Mario doing? He wants a three. Okay, so I guess he's using the dice block that I just gave him. So that brings him. Why would you want that, Mario? Why? Oh no, that's so sad. Okay, he gets hit by the Charvar and he loses two of his hearts over there. Oh, and they're one spot away from the boss now. Wait, am I going to be in the boss fight or no? Okay, Peach rolls a six here. Oh wait, it's Defeat Womp. Wait, I thought that there's a boss fight. Oh, do you have to do this? I guess maybe you have to do this before the boss fight. Hey, Peach rolls a five. That's a nice and big number over here. So she bounces on the Womp five times. It's at one HP. Wait, does Toadette go now? Okay, Toadette goes now, nice. Defeat Womp, where are you gonna roll Toadette? I love how she holds this steering wheel, it's so funny. And Toadette rolls a four. So let's see, do you jump four times or just once? Oh, you only have to jump once, very nice. And now there's going to be the mini boss. Out comes a yellow toad over here. Wow, thanks for saving me. I have some hearts as a reward. Wait, do I get hearts too? I think I get hearts. Yes, I'm up to three hearts. I think that means that I'm revived now. Yeah, there we go, we came back, all right. Keep heading for the superstar at the goal. Wait, I thought that there'd be a mini boss fight over here. Is there no boss fight? Wait, Bowser's rolling out. We're only five away from Bowser. He's rolling four dice blocks, so it's almost impossible that he doesn't catch us. He would have to literally roll four ones on his dice blocks to not be able to reach us. Okay, so we are probably getting out in this mini game also. Oh, Bowser's bogus bingo. Maybe we actually won't get out here. There's a chance. So what we have to do in this one, and I've said this, I say this like every single time that we play this mini game, this reminds me so much of Donkey Kong 64, this art style here. So what we have to do is select a bingo card and then Bowser rolls the dice a few times and every bingo that Bowser gets, he deals some damage onto us. But hold on, what happens if we don't pick a card? Do we just have a card randomly assigned to us? Let's see, which card will we get? Okay, we have that one assigned to us. Okay, so I hope Bowser doesn't get the booze or the urchins. Man, all the characters look so nervous, especially Mario. Okay, Goombas, that's good. Okay, that doesn't affect us. If Bowser rolls only Goombas, that would actually be perfect. Okay, and Bowser has five rolls total. Let's see round two. What are you going to roll next, Bowser? Please, I want Luigi to survive for a bit, so please don't damage me too much. Oh no! Oh no. Oh man, I have two damage. If Bowser rolls an Urchin, then we are eliminated. We are going to have so much damage on us. That'll be so sad. If he gets cheap cheeps, then Toadette will get a lot of damage. If he gets Bob bombs Okay, okay, booze again, that's good. Yeah, almost no matter what he rolls, everyone's in a lot of trouble. If he rolls urchins, I'm out. If he rolls bob Oms, Mario is out. If he gets cheap cheap, Peach and Toadette get a lot of damage. Let's see, what's he rolling? Booze again, yes! That is so lucky, he rolled the same thing three times in a row. Now if he just rolls Goombas again, that's amazing. Just please don't get urchin, please don't get the little spiky fish. Please not the little spiky fish, please. Oh, 
Ball bombs. I'm so sorry, Mario. Oh, poor Mario. Wait, is Mario going to be eliminated? Because that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that like eight damage onto Mario? Let's see. So Luigi's taking two damage, I think. Okay, yeah, we took two damage. Mario is out. That's actually so funny that Mario's doing, or sorry, that's actually so funny that Luigi's doing absolutely nothing in mini games. Mario is a master CPU and Mario is eliminated, but Luigi's still in. It just goes to show you that luck is a pretty big element of Mario Party sometimes. If we're doing this badly, then hold on. Let's see, what do we roll? Just a one. Oh no, that's so sad. Bowser set some traps! If you get hit, you lose half your hearts, so be careful! All right, what's the default option is left, so I'm going to press A over here. And Luigi's going up here. We get to have a special dice block. I'll look away and close my eyes. Now press A and... I keep getting the same thing. One, two, three, slow dice block. I just keep getting that. Oh man, wait, wait, wait. Oh no, Mario gets to roll for us. Where are you gonna give us Mario? It's so weird that the master CPU is out. We're playing against an easy Bowser, but yeah, just look at this. Luigi's doing absolutely nothing, but he's still in right now. Well, to be fair, Luigi was out once, and then he did come back. But that's so weird that Mario is out now. Okay, Peach wants a two. Wait, does that give us hearts? Nice job, Peach. Good job. So that means that not only do I get more hearts, Peach and Toadette also get more hearts, but it's a me, Mario. I'm a coming back to the boat now. There you go, he comes back from the bubble, that's very nice. But he doesn't get to roll this turn, I guess, because right now it's Toadette's turn. So, after Bowser, Mario will get to roll, if, uh, if he survives, that is. Oh, please don't be a Bowser trap. Oh, no! Toadette, you're so unlucky, oh my goodness. I think normally when you're playing this game, it's like you wanna make sure that you have the most hearts and you don't want your teammates to have too many hearts. But you also don't want them to get eliminated because you want to survive against Bowser. Because it's like the winner is the person who has the most hearts at the end. But at the same time, it's like Bowser can just eliminate you guys. Okay, Bowser gets another tiny roll. He gets just an eight, but we are only five away, so he can catch up to us. And look at how he scales this wall. He's very intense. So let's see, what is our next mini game going to be? Oh boy, Fire Bar Fury, oh no. Oh no, there's no way that we're gonna do well here. We might get eliminated in this. We have only three hearts, right? Okay, so Bowser's gonna move around these fire bars. One hit on us, and time's almost... Yeah, we use like no time. We're definitely eliminated. There's no way he's not gonna eliminate us, right? Unless... Oh, no, no, here comes. Luigi is out again. You know what, guys? How many times do you think Luigi will be eliminated in this video? That has been twice that Luigi is eliminated now, and let's see. Oh man, that was a good trick Bowser did there to get Toadette, okay. How much damage did the others get? Let's see, was it just Toadette who got damage? Oh, Toadette got two damage, Peach got one damage, Mario got zero damage, I guess because Mario got out in the previous turn. Okay, so go Luigi, let's see, let's look away and then press A now. Oh, we actually got something that isn't a one, two, three slow dice block this time. We got them a four, five, six dice block. That might be very useful for them here because like, if you want to get far away from Bowser, you can use that. Okay, Mario is using one of those dice blocks. It's like the same color as the girls here, as Peach and Toadette over here. Okay, so we get just a four. Mario is heading up here and it's just a green space, unfortunately. If only it was one more, then we would have gotten a big boost. That would have been nice. Each. Also using the four, five, six dice block. Let's see, what is it? A five this time. If it was a five in the previous turn, that would have been very nice. But now we are landing on a Bowser Jr. space. This can be bad. Bowser Jr. usually helps out Bowser, right? Ha <laughs> ha Let's go, guys. I'm gonna pick something. Okay, and what does Bowser Jr. pick? We get everyone's hearts reduced by half. That's so bad. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, that means Mario goes down to a single heart, right? Mario goes down to a single heart. Toadette is down to three. Peach is down to four. It looks like it's lose half rounded down instead of lose half rounded up. I think in Mario Party 9, if you lose half of your hearts, it's rounded up. Like if you have five hearts and you lose half, then in Mario Party 9, you'd go down to two. But in this game, you go down to three. Interesting how they treat rounding differently. Oh, is that hearts? Is Toadette giving us more hearts? Oh, oh, that's lucky. Wait, oh, I don't think that's plus hearts. Okay, if they went too higher, it would have been uh, more hearts. But these are hearts just for Toadette. Oh, no! She could have gotten one heart for everyone or two hearts for everyone, but she picked an empty block. That's so unlucky. Oh my goodness, we are having really bad luck here. Bowser might actually catch up to us and win. Because the Master CPUs, their hearts 
are pretty low right now, and we're facing off against the easiest Bowser possible, and he might actually defeat us. The easiest Bowser versus the most difficult teammate. You would think that it would be like impossible to lose like this, but maybe Bowser's actually gonna come back and win. I have no idea what's going to happen. Bowser's sinister slots, oh no. Let's see, oh, and this train level, this reminds me so much of Super Mario 3D World. There's a cool train level in that one, okay. So I'm not in this mini game right now because I'm eliminated. So right now it's just the CPUs. Hopefully they can do well at dodging the bullet bills. Oh, but Luigi still does show up on the possibilities for the slots. Oh no, Mario got hit. Mario is eliminated again. Mario has been eliminated twice now. Oh my goodness, okay. And bullet bills are coming towards Peach. No, Peach is hit. Our two remaining CPUs have three hearts left. This is not good. Oh, he's picking like all Luigi's there. Yes. Oh, oh, the bullet bills just go straight in. Okay, that's very nice. Time is almost up. Let's see. There's one going for Peach. Dodge it, Peach! Nice dodge! Oh my goodness, okay. Good job, everybody. Except for Mario, who got eliminated, I guess. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mario is eliminated. This is so sad. How is a master CPU? Get it? Okay, hold on. Let's look away. Press A now. Okay, we keep getting four, five, six dice blocks now, that's nice. But, oh, and it's funny that the two Mario brothers, they are the two that are out over here. Now it's up to the girls to play. Hopefully the girls can play very well. Nice, Mario also gets a four, five, six dice block. Hopefully that helps the girls with uh, staying away from Bowser. Bowser saved the girls for last. Maybe he wants to kidnap Peach and Toadette. Okay, so Peach is playing smart over here using the four, five, six dice block. Getting a five, that's all right. And let's see, where are we heading? On to... Just a regular green one. Please don't be a Bowser trap. Nice! Okay, it wasn't a Bowser trap. That's fantastic. Okay, we're five away from Bowser. If Toadette rolls a one, then we get more hearts. Oh, or if she rolls a five. Please get a five. We need a five. We need a five. Yes! Yes! That revives uh, Mario and Luigi, I'm pretty sure, right? Let's see. Let's see. I think that brings us to extra hearts, right? Yes! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that we are getting all these bonus hearts today. So I think Mario and Luigi, they've both been eliminated twice, right? I'll probably put something on screen that keeps track of how many times everyone has been eliminated. But all right, here we go, Mario and Luigi are back. That means we have our whole crew. Mario and Luigi only have a, wait, wait. Bowser doesn't reach, he got only a seven. Oh no, but Bowser Jr. is gonna let him roll again. Dad, you can't catch up to them on a roll like that. I'm gonna let you re-roll that one. Hopefully he gets an even smaller number. Wait, how does he even roll with his hands inside the wall like that? Oh, oh no, he got an 11. Oh my goodness. It's so hard to have Bowser not reach you. He almost always reaches you. And even if he doesn't reach you, then Bowser, I dropped my controller. Even if he doesn't reach you, then Bowser Jr. gives him one more shot sometimes. Okay, so are we going to be eliminated in this round? That is the question. Let's see, what's our mini game? Bowser's Wicked Wheel. We are definitely getting out. I don't know about the CPUs. Okay, so what you want to do in this one is shake the controller back and forth to move. And there we go, we are out already because we couldn't move the controller so we couldn't run. It's like shaking the controller back and forth makes you run. And Bowser spins the wheel and stops it and he tries to trick you so that you run into one of the amps and the electricity on either side and you take damage. I think the CPUs didn't take any damage at all, right? Okay, but Luigi is eliminated again, so that's bad news for us. But the good news is the CPUs took zero damage. Oh, and Bowser's getting angry now. Again, okay, and let's look away and then we will just roll right away and we get back to getting one, two, three slow dice blocks. Nice job, Luigi. All right, how about our crew over here? Mario's back, he is revived. Let's see how he's gonna do. He uses the one, two, three slow dice block. He probably wants a two or three, okay. Looks like he's getting a two so that we can reach, I guess it's like this checkpoint flag or this toad flag, whatever this is. Home stretch, that's what it is. And the Bowser gate opens. Wait a minute, this isn't the final section, is it? No, this can't be the final section here. Let's see, it's so funny that there's only the three of them because Luigi's out right now. But it's so great that if you get eliminated, you can still come back. All right, so we're just walking along over here. Just a little farther to the goal, everyone! Good luck! Wait, is that really the goal? I thought that there would be a mini boss here for some reason. Bowser charges through the door. He roars! Yeah, there's gotta be more to this, right? I thought that this board was longer for some reason. Wait, is he getting an extra dice block? Oh no! The Bowser dice block turned into a super Bowser dice block! It's a dreadful dice block that lets Bowser quickly get you if a Bowser mark appears! 
but we don't want him to roll the Bowser. Oh, and here he is! From here! He'll take turns rolling dice blocks with Bowser! Don't let him catch you! Uh, right, so Peach, please don't roll the Bowser dice block. We don't want Bowser to catch up to us. A six! Nice job, that's a nice big number. Staying far away from Bowser over here. Wait, does Bowser get to roll every single turn? What does he roll? What does he roll? A six! Wait, 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 but we're seven away. Does that mean he doesn't reach? Reroll! Why does he get to reroll? Wait, I think no matter what, he can't reach, though, unless he gets the Bowser. Oh! Uh, a four! Okay, that's even better! Sure, I don't mind you rerolling. Look at him just walking through this and destroying it as he comes towards us. This is so scary. Look at him stomping his foot in the lava. Oh my goodness. So scary, the Bowser chasing after us. Toadette, please go ahead and roll. I kind of want you to maybe get a... Okay, a six! I don't know where the other hearts are, because I know that there are some bonus hearts. Two away? Wait a minute! They might actually reach the end without uh, Bowser catching up to them, because look at this. Wait a three. Does he get to re-roll again? Oh my goodness! It's like every time that he doesn't reach, they let him re-roll! We are super lucky with the gigantic rolls. A two! An even smaller number! Wow, okay, good thing they're letting Bowser re-roll and get even smaller numbers. Now he's seven away, and we get to roll. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If I roll, is he going to go after me, or is he going to go after Mario? So let's not look, let's roll, we get a one, two, three, slow dice luck. We probably don't want that as we're trying to get away from Bowser. Oh, and now Mario gets to roll. Okay, so Bowser probably goes after Mario. Let's see, what's it gonna be? Oh, wait, wait, I don't know if that's a good idea. He gets a one, and then he gets boosted plus two. That would have been the same thing as just rolling a three, though. Uh, maybe that's an okay choice. Hopefully Bowser gets a tiny roll. Let's see, he's so far away. He gets... A five, okay, so he can't reach, so that means that he re-rolls. Hopefully he gets something lower. If he gets a one, I don't know if that means he automatically catches us, though. Oh, he got it, he got the one, what does that mean? Does that mean that he gets to walk all the way up to us now? Oh no, oh no, what if he just eliminates the crew right now? Oh no, oh no, Toadette is shaking in her boots. Mario's looking around like, what's the going on over here? Why can't I move? Oh man, is he going to eliminate the crew? I need these guys to win for Luigi. Bowser's Clawful Climb. Okay, these guys just can't lose here. Oh, and this kind of reminds me of a Bowser's Tower from Super Mario 3D World. I need to play some more Super Mario 3D World. I never fully 100% completed the game. Okay, since these are master CPUs and Bowser's easy, there's no way that they'll get damaged, right? They'll just climb so fast. It's funny, they look like little ants that are just quickly trying to climb up the tower over here. Yeah, look at how far away they are from Bowser. That's kind of pathetic how Bowser was climbing there, actually. So it looks like the Master CPUs are finally showing how good they are. Alright, Princess Peach. Is this really the goal at the end over here, though? The one that's five away? What does she roll? A one! A one! Oh, no! Oh, no! Go, Bowser! Wait, no matter what he rolls, he gets this, because he's one away. One away, and he gets a five. He's like, huh! Five is bigger than zero! That means I get to catch you! Okay, so what's our next mini game against Bowser? It is Bowser's Roulette Rage. Okay, so recently in this mini game, the last time that we played this mini game, he did damage Mario, I'm pretty sure. Luigi was eliminated in this mini game once, but then Mario was also damaged here, I'm pretty sure. So hopefully the master CPUs can do okay against this easy Bowser, because the way that they play is a little bit questionable. Especially when Bowser's things are spread out like that. It's like, I think the best strategy is stay near the edge. Stay near the edge of one, and then when Bowser's about to stop it, move over to one side or the other. Like, don't stay near the middle. Okay, that's good. That's fine. At least nobody got hit there. Yeah, so... Oh! It's actually possible that Bowser eliminates everyone in this minigame if the CPUs don't play well. Because Bowser can choose to put one or two bombs on each place. He has three bombs to put down per round. Okay, good. Nobody got caught again. But he still can get out everyone in the final round. If he puts down two bombs on one spot and everyone's in the same slice and he catches them, then he can get out everyone. Oh! Oh, but it's, uh, they're all spread out now. Okay, so the only person that he can eliminate right now is Mario. And it's actually pretty tricky when you have stuff that's all together like that. Mario! Whoa, you scared me, Mario. I thought that you would step in. He was going back and forth a bit like that. But luckily, the CPUs did not get damaged at all from Bowser here. So that's fantastic. These guys are doing great. They're really showing Bowser who's boss. All right, Toadette, will you reach the end? You need a four at least. A two. Wait, does that just bring you to a green space? Okay, just a green space. 
Oh, All right, Bowser, what about you? Two away. Wait, no matter what, he reaches us. Because if he rolls a one, then he automatically gets to you. And if he rolls a two, then he gets you also. So if you're two away, it's the same as if you're one away. Bowser just gets you no matter what. Bowser's bogus bingo. This is the worst one to have. Oh my goodness. I thought that we actually had this in the bag. I thought we were so close that this was going to be a guaranteed win over here. I'm like, there's no way an easy Bowser can defeat the master CPUs. But this might actually be a mind-blowing ending over here. Bowser might come back and get us right at the end. This would be such a sneaky ending over here. And then a lot of people would comment, What a surprise ending! I did not expect that to happen at all. I'll need everyone to comment that if Bowser comes back and wins. Okay, but so far he rolls a boo. That means that that gets nobody. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The CPUs, it looks like they have pretty different bingo cards. So maybe we actually... We'll still win this. Peach's card is amazing. It's actually so hard to do any damage at all on Peach. He gets another boo! Oh my goodness, Bowser is playing so badly right now with this. How come he was playing so well when, uh, when Luigi was in this? And he eliminated, uh, did he eliminate Mario last time or Luigi last time? But yeah, he did great last time. Oh, there's two damage on Toadette now. If he gets cheap cheeps, then Toadette is out. All right, round four, he still has two more rolls. If he gets Sheep Sheeps, Toadette is out. If he gets Ball Bombs, Mario is out. Let's see, what's it gonna be? Goombas! That, oh, just Goombas again, okay. Wow, so he got two Boos and two Goombas. So, so far, nobody's out. All that's happening so far is Toadette is going to take two damage because there are two bingos there. There are two lines there. And next is... Oh! Oh, it's a bomb bomb! That means that Mario is out! Mario is out again! Was Is this Mario's third time out? Has Mario been eliminated the same amount of times as Luigi? Today, the girls are just playing amazingly. Peach and Toadette are just carrying this. Oh my goodness. But yeah, now all that's going to be left is Peach and Toadette. So the number of times that you're eliminated, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose. What's important is that we make it to the end before Bowser gets us all out. Are we going to be able to come back and win this? Because this is actually so crazy. Okay, let's look away, look away, not looking, press the A button, and we get a four, five, six. Okay, so that means that they should be able to reach the end now. And wait, is it going to be the boss fight after that? And wait, do you get hearts right before the boss fight? I wonder if you do. Oh, and Mario gets a slow dice block. That's very useful for them. All right, so let's see, Peach. What are you going to do? How far are you? You're two away, and you're using the four, five, six dice block. Peach is like, I really need at least a two. And she gets a six, so that's nice. Now, hold on, get the superstar. Wait, is there a boss fight in this? I'm not giving up the superstar that easily. Hiding the star. All right. So one of these three guys has the superstar. Which one do you guys think has the superstar? Try to guess who has the superstar. Bowser Jr., you gotta have it. Oh, Luigi has to guess. Wait, oh, I'm Luigi. Okay, okay, so I'm just gonna go with the default option. Oh, the default option's actually Koopa Troopa. I thought the default would be Bowser Jr., but I guess I have to choose Koopa Troopa. And he does look pretty suspicious, doesn't he? But let's see if his suspiciousness means that he's guilty. Does he have it? Too bad, that's too bad. Oh man, that's so sad. So sad. Okay, the hammer, or sledge bro, it's sledge bro on the right, right? That's what they're called. He had it, so we get pushed back to here. Now does Bowser get to roll? Oh, wait, there are barely any spaces left to travel. What's, Bowser, why are you even rolling? You're literally right behind us. It doesn't matter what you roll. He gets a three. Oh boy, we are right before the final step of the board. This would be the craziest place to lose. What's the mini game? Bowser's Firebar Fury. So last time, we did take some damage over here. Well, uh, not only did we take some damage, Luigi was eliminated here, but the Master CPUs also took some damage here, even though this is an easy CPU Bowser. Let's see how much they can avoid. Oh man, oh man. One damage on each of them. Toadette's down to two hearts. Oh boy, they're staying grouped together. I don't know if staying grouped together is a good idea. Oh my goodness, each of them were hit once again. Toadette has only one heart left. Is Toadette going to get eliminated? Two seconds left, one second left. Oh man, that was so close, but Toadette has one heart left. Peach has three. Why is this game so close? These are master CPUs versus an easy CPU. How is this easy CPU Bowser doing so well? Okay. Toadette is next. I think no matter what you roll, you get to go over here. It would be so sad if the next one was wrong again. Wait, do I always have to pick? Let's see if I always have to pick. Hiding the star. 
Try to guess who has this superstar. Okay, and Luigi does have to guess. Okay, Luigi, who do you want Toadette to choose? Okay, and now the default option is Bowser Jr. So as I said at the beginning, we always have to choose the default option. Let's see if we get this now or no. Let's see. Does he have the star or is it the final guy with the star? Let's see. Too bad again! Oh my goodness, the guy on the right has it again! This is unbelievable! Okay, we are down to the final guy. So now, he pushes us back again. Oh, well, I guess we don't get pushed back because this is the only spot that's left. But if Bowser eliminates them right now, that would be so sad because I think the next time that we go, I think we have a guaranteed win. I can't believe that it actually comes down to the very final space, very final choice. What's the mini game? Bowser's pain ball instead of pinball. So let's see, can the CPU survive? Oh my goodness. Toadette has one heart and Peach has three. We need at least one person to survive. Oh boy. Where are you guys going? How are we doing? Where are you going, Toadette? Oh, that was so close. I thought she would get hit. Hey, this is great. They're not getting hit. Still 20 seconds left. How's Bowser doing here? Okay, he's keeping his balls down there. That's not bad. Oh, he lost one of his balls. Poor Bowser. Oh, it doesn't hit Toadette there. I thought that that might hit her. Nobody's getting hit. This is amazing. This is amazing. They're surviving. They're gonna do it. The master CPUs are... Sh oh! I was gonna say, they're showing who the master really is. That was amazing. They made it. Oh, and I love how Peach is still getting pushed. Let's go. Okay, does this mean that we win? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's look away. Press the A button now and... All right, one, two, three, slow dice. Well, wait, does the other team even have to roll now? And I guess now we will see. Does this mean that the master CPUs carried us to the very end? And wait a minute, wait a minute. Does this game not have boss fights? Hold on, I'm trying to think right. No, Mario Party 10 does have boss fights. Okay, yeah, so there, we've got a lot of these. Is there not going to be a boss fight over here? Hold on, get the superstar. Wait, do you even have to pick now? There's only one person. Okay, if there's only one person, you just automatically jump on it like that. And, let's see, goal! So it looks like Team Luigi, Mario, Peach, and Toadette actually win! The Master CPU carried us to a victory against Easy CPU Bowser, and we barely got it! We did it, guys! Can you believe it? That was so incredibly close! Bowser could have won that, oh my goodness! Look at how close he was. He could just taste the victory there. That's unbelievable. And look at how funny this is. Mario the Master CPU was also eliminated. Luigi did lose the most hearts, which is kind of funny. But we barely lost more hearts than Mario, who's a Master CPU. Wait, Toadette apparently played the best, but Peach finished with the most hearts at the end. Mario and Luigi kept getting eliminated over here, but the team did make it to the end, so Bowser loses. I really recommend my video where we play all mini games and face all bosses in Mario Party 10. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. I can't believe our team survived and it was so close. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day ahead of you, and take care, everybody.